Welcome back guys to City Skylines. This will be episode 11. And in the in the uh, last episode, we uh focused on, you know, trying to fill in this area. Um we did do a little bit of expansion down here um at the end of the episode. We did uh create our little face here and uh it seems to be doing good. You know, have little eyes here. It doesn't look that great. Um you got the little teeth. Um, one thing I did notice when we were starting, when I was starting up this episode was, uh, there are, there are so many cars just kind of lined up here, and I feel like, yeah, this, this multi-lane road that we got going on here, this, this thing is just so, so backed up. So I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure that this turns into... We're going to keep this as a, um, kind of like over here. We're going to keep these as, uh, one lane, you know, highways. Or, well, roads, at least. Um, but we are going to get... <clears throat> actually, you know what? They, we can actually decorate. Well, not, ne not necessarily decorate, but, like, make sure that everything is in a good spot. Um, we're gonna get that. Ah, uh, we can't edit that, so we're gonna have to go with a smaller one. And I think we're gonna go with that instead. And let's go with this. Um, just so that way there's a little bit of a proper traffic flow. Um... Uh, we can't get it down there, but uh, what we can do is we can, yeah. Um, can we get a two-lane road going down here? Yep. Yes, we can. Okay. Oh wow! Even still, people are still kind of lining up. Yep. Yeah. It's crazy. You know this whole uh, traffic mess. Let me know what I can do um, to fix this, guys, because I personally am not that great with uh, fixing stuff like this. Um, looks like it's flowing okay around here, but um, of course it's just backed up for, for miles. It's, it's crazy. Just, oh wow. I'm pretty sure there was just one car that was blocking up, you know, traffic, so... Um, what we can do right here is we can get a little, um, we can get a little highway going on here. And let's see if, actually we can get like multiple lanes actually going through here. So that would be useful. I think that helps them to flow a little bit better. You know, it's not, it's not completely working, but it is helping traffic to flow a little bit better um, not entirely sure what to do here of course I'm not sure if we can even edit I know we can edit the street it's just ungrateful street um, adjust road Okay, so roots. Okay, here we go. Um, uh, you know what? I don't think we can really do anything with it. I don't want to mess with it um, when I don't really know that much about it. So, um, that kind of like takes care of the flowing issue, I guess. Except for like right here, because oh my god, it is not that great. It's It's awful. Um, it does not look that great, but he, what we can do is we can get, I would assume would be a one lane road uh, going somewhere into the city, and we can get it flowing through there. So I feel like that's what we can do. Um, uh, we're not going to have such a huge road. 
So we're going to have decorative thing with trees. Um, we're not going to make it too high. Um, not sure how to get it to kind of connect up here. Yeah, because they got those columns, so it's like... Oh, wait. There we go. See, it wouldn't let me, uh, wouldn't let me connect up, so I had to, uh, work a little magic. And so... We're gonna connect it right up there and destroy this tiny little building. Of course, it's not entirely what we want to do, but, you know. Uh, Scarlet Morgan Bridge. Scarlet Morgan Bridge. Okay. And that's a pretty sharp turn. See, that's the thing I never liked about, you know, connecting up these highways. Th these little, um... Yeah, I was about to say highways, but I guess they are kind of like highways. These little off-ramps and stuff, because they're so sharp. Like, in real life, you know... I know it ain't real life, but at the same time, you know, it's it's funny because in real life you'd have to make like a friggin' sharp ass turn. You'd probably overturn, fly off the bridge, or some shit. So, yeah, even this is steep, so you're really revving those RPMs when you're initially kind of going up there. But then it's a smooth sail, you know, once you kind of go down. Alright. Traffic's starting to kind of use up those lanes a little bit, which is good, which is good. Um, people are still backed up to the end of the street. I don't know how to fix this. I wish there were, like, bigger streets, to be quite honest. It would be a whole lot nicer if they could just get... Oh, no. That is not what I wanted to do not what I wanted to do. Okay. Well, looks like we still have that demand for industrial. I can't believe I just spent all that time worrying about something so stupid. We have all that demand for all that industrial or offices. Um, so we're going to get office buildings kind of flowing around in here. I know some of them don't look great. Um, here, let me... Uh, let me dezone. Unfortunately, we do have to dezone this one building. Um, and we're going to make it high density residential. Offices kind of going over here. Not sure why it won't let me. Oh, because of the uh, solar power plant thing. So. Yeah. Stuff's really backed up here, but. Hey, it's it's a big city. It's traffic. So, yeah, that's what it's for. So, I did promise in the last episode we were going to kind of finish off here. So, we can, we can, I mean, I've been promising that. I don't know why I have not done that. So, let's, um, let's kind of direct some traffic to kind of flow down here, possibly. Now we're going to try to knock down one building. I don't know if that's doable. No? Alright, well it looks like we're going to have to knock down two buildings. So, uh, we're going to get some side roads kind of coming off here. Alright. Alright. And then we're going to get a couple more kind of going through here. There we go. That is a pretty sharp curve, I think. No, 
Actually, it looks pretty good. It looks a lot better than what I thought it would. So, um, we're going to get a road kind of going this way, I want to say. I want to try to maximize the availability of zoning, you know, but not make it look too, like, forced. So, um, let's just kind of fill in this area with all the bells and whistles. Um, of course, we have to get that little one that was right here. And especially right here and here. Um, any other little places that I missed? No? Okay. So we're going to get all offices kind of going on in here. You know, got to have that little tech park, whatever they call them. The, uh, you know, the little plazas and shit. You know, where people could just sit around, like, at that one botanical garden and just complain about their office jobs. Um, that's in the new city, by the way. Yeah. And, um, oh wow, look at that. And they got good electricity and, uh, water availability, so we don't need to worry about that. Because that's usually the one thing I like to worry about when I initially build, uh, these places and zone them. I'm like, oh, do these guys have this and that? And it's... You know, it's already taken care of, so who cares? Oh man, that's nice. So now they got little places to smoke their blunts and shit. Fine financial services. Um, they're doing well financially, I would suppose. So, especially with all these uh, these benches that they can rent out like five dollars for like fifteen minutes. You know, for people to come back here and and smoke blunts and shit. Um, so we're gonna get. Oh, uh, yeah, these offices, yep. Low demand now, um, but they're still constructing, of course. Uh, let's see here. Now we have, like, no demand for anything. I mean, we have no demand... Okay, so we have low demand for commercial. So I think we're going to dezone. We're going to have to dezone some of this. Um, we're going to dezone a little bit. Actually, you know what? No, 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 we're not going to. Because you know what we're going to do? We're going to go and... We're going to go and we're going to fill in this little area right here. And why don't we fill in this little area right here with high-density residential. And we're going to get a little thing going on in here. Um... So we're going to get one going that way. And maybe another one right there. That looks kind of cool. Something like that at least. So we're going to get all commercial kind of going on in there. All this commercial. Uh, let's see what we got building right here. There's a little one building right there. Mega store. It's not that big. So, I don't know why you're calling yourself a mega store. Okay. Um, I know in the last episode we had a huge issue with, you know, dead people. Um, yeah, no, no, no. For all materials, no more room. Okay, so we have to keep, like, emptying into different facilities and whatnot. Um, emptying has finished, so, yep, now they're going to intake all that shit. Emptying has finished, and they're also going to start taking in all that shit, you know, just like the, uh, the human centipede, which to me was, you know, that part was very disgusting. I'm not gonna lie, it was, it, you know, who, you know, who brings that before, you know, an entire team of writers? You wouldn't, yeah, here, let's zone, let's, um, I was just kind of like talking to myself, but let's, let's start to kind of get all these, you know, these little areas. Uh, there we go. The, um, just so that way, you know, uh, flows a little bit better. But what I was saying was, um, you know, I, I can only imagine what they were thinking when uh, they brought that before the uh, the team of, uh, of writers, you know. Oh, hey, you know, I have this concept where uh, people, uh, they're kidnapped and experimented on, and, uh, yeah, they, um people shit in their mouths or whatever like you know one guy eats and one like they keep shitting into each other's mouths 
fucking eating it and shit. Like, I, I just... It's, it's weird. It's really, really weird. To me, at least. I, I don't know about to you guys, but, like... Oh, man. Alright. So... A lot of abandoned buildings. Not enough raw materials. I don't know what to do about that. You know, I made the... That's why I expanded out here, too. Um, that was part of the reason. Uh, so that way we can get better flow into the city. And while it seems to, um... Well, it seems to help a little bit. It doesn't seem to really do too much. So, um, unfortunately, it looks like we're not gonna be able to, uh really do anything about that that's kind of their own thing at this point anyhow so i think that w since we got all this residential here i just noticed this little part was dezoned um okay walker or walter boulevard man everybody's kind of parked off to the side they just don't give a shit dale boulevard that's this looks nice, especially this little building right here. I like that. Um, we're currently at, we're currently in, um, I want to say, yeah, late uh, 2032, which is uh, crazy. So, we have a lot of well-educated people, or at least educated people, living in this building. No wonder why it looks so damn good. They probably built it themselves. You know, they stayed away from those blunts, guys. And, um... They achieved something today. So, um... I feel like what we can do is get... See, from a distance, this looks abandoned, I guess, because it's not it's not rendering. But, you know. Um, and when you zoom in, it looks like it's on fucking uh, Google Earth or some shit. Like, kind of like that, where part of the building shows very clearly and then it's all blurry. Um... But, yeah, no, it... I think what we could get here is, like, a park or something. Could we get a park? Yeah, these guys need one, like, desperately. Um, these guys are gonna need a large playground right in the center here. There we go. And we're gonna need maybe a little dog park off to the side. Um, of course, that does knock down a building or two. But I don't think we should be too worried about it. Um, there's... I'm not sure if there's two parks that are even closer than that, um, other than maybe like right here or right here. Oh boy. Okay. Um, so we're going to need one actually right over here too. We're going to need, since this is all, I'm pretty sure it's all, yep, high density residential. So I think what would be fitting is another playground of some sort. Possibly a carousel, um, visitor capacity 150. Visitor capacity 150. Um, so we're going to get a little carousel, I guess, going on right over here. Makes me think of uh, the Catcher in the Rye, like the ending of it where they're, where the, uh, where Holden and uh, his sister, I forget her name, are just kind of like sitting on this bench here. Um, this was kind of like almost like the, uh, the setting that I kind of imagined it in, um, where uh, they were just kind of, Holden was sitting on one of these benches, and uh, his little sister was playing on the carousel, and, you know, this is a lot like, you know, New York City, you know, you got all these high-rises, these hippie high-rises, and, um, you know, I mean, I didn't imagine a highway right there, but, you know, I think to, uh, I think what we might do is add some trees, so that way kids know not to run into the uh, streets. You know, just shield them from, you know, the life of having to get up in the morning and um, having to get dressed and worry about bills and stuff. You know, it helps to uh, make sure all the kids stay in line, and then we pretty much catch them. We pretty much get them when they're older. You know, they're shielded now from uh, the horrors of uh, Orchard Highway um, because it was going to consume them. 
you know, kind of like just seeing a dead body, you know. I mean, you're not usually prepared for that, but who cares, because you just did, and now you're used to it, almost, at least. Um, so we're going to get, uh, what do we want to do here? Oh, there was just a demand for industrial, and it, it keeps kind of going on and off. Oh, I guess because it's still kind of, we're still kind of building here, I forgot. Um, Alexander Street. Never really took a look at these names. Gray Street. Um, makes me think of, uh, I don't know, calling it Gay Street or something. Um, I don't have a problem with gay people, though. Gays, gays are usually nice as fuck. Um, Adams Street. Uh, we should call that Adams Apple Street. Lewis Street. Um, we should also call that Losers Street. Um, law firm. Business Planning Company. Mike Crondo Game Studio. Yeah, I. Yeah, that deserves to be called Lewis, uh, Losers Street because there's just nothing that's going on there that's even remotely worth anybody's time. You know, it's it's ridiculous. But um, I'm not sure what we could put here other than industrial. Let's try to put some industrial just to kind of keep it filled. No? Hmm. No? Oh, okay. It's because I didn't see it initially, but the, um... I'm an idiot. Building is emptying. 81% full. Let's see. 6% full. 80% full. 9% full. So, these guys are doing their thing. There's a dead person waiting at the park. That's, uh, that's really nice. You know, and all these dead trees and shit. I don't know what to say about that. Oh, they're getting the dead person now, I'm pretty sure. Yep, hearse. So, okay, it looks like there's still more dead people kind of laying around here. So, how's the health coverage around here? Everybody's doing good. Um, we are going to get a... Possibly a... Um, we could get it out by the water here, you know, knock down a few buildings, um, get it out kind of facing all the little areas and stuff. Uh, Piper Alexander Street, oh wow, yeah, see, look at that, it's kind of out facing the water, you know, the nice little church. I feel like it would be really soothing um, and really suiting for the uh, the environment you know a, a church right out by the sea I mean who wouldn't want that especially a sea that's now polluted as hell and this you know this penis looking thing it's really uh, I think there's a little bit of a corner right there that's um not necessarily polluted entirely but it is so um, unfortunately that whole thing is polluted and that's just how it is. That's how life is. Um, we're going to continue trying to get hearses kind of going through here. Um, we are going to have to knock down. We're going to knock down a couple buildings here so that way people can walk the main strip and they can um, go throughout all the uh, the outlets and whatnot and they can um, they can mourn their, uh, their dead family members while they're... Uh, next door at New Commercial Center, or maybe even across the street at the uh, Giga Store, Giga Store, whatever it is, or the Mega Shopping Center, and, um, or even the best of the best shops, you know, they can, um, they can mourn their dead family members while they're trying on the brand new luxury brand, uh, bullshit. Um, so, what we are going to do is... Actually, have they filled in this area yet? Almost, actually. It looks like they're they're really getting there. So let's get some smaller roads kind of going along here. Um, kind of want it to bend off. Um, and, uh... Uh, here we go. 
go. Here we go. And then we're going to get maybe... I want this to be a little bit... Oh, wait, what is this? Oh, these are rocks. Okay. So that's why part of the zoning might have been uh, kind of cut off here. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to quickly add one off to the side here. And then we're going to have like a, a, side, a side road kind of going through here. So I think that'll look okay. Will it? Uh, you know what? Now that I kind of think about it, not really. So we're going to get like a little... Nah. I think what we can do... I'm trying to think of what we could do here. Um... No? I don't think so. No. No, we're not going to... Let's just kind of get some industrial while we still can't oh wait no not that kind of industrial i i promise to keep this place clean as as clean as i could at least and look at me trying to add industrial look at me trying to sneak industrial right on in there um so that way you know everybody can have everything that they need um here we go. They need water. Of course they need water because they're thirsty as fuck. So, we're going to get a little water pipe going through here. Okay. And it looks like we're we're at no demand for anything except for just a low demand for residential. Um we could possibly start bringing some residential over this way too. I wanted to kind of make this area like a little suburbia, but what we are going to do is unfortunately knock down the best shops or best of the best shops and we're going to add a little shop right or well not shop but um strip right here and we're going to add some residential course is a lot of residential so here we go and looks like they're already popping up out of nowhere they just don't give a shit ah. see I thought this uh, there was some I guess smog or whatever whatever it was that was kind of coming through here There we go. Okay, so um, let's see how we are on fire safety. Everybody's doing good on fire safety except for this little corner here. They're all being very ungrateful. Um, since there is no available ones, we're not going to add just a station, but like an actual headquarters. And going to make sure everybody is in good hands. So. All right, now let's see about education. Um, elementary school availability. We're gonna get one going maybe right here because why not? Even though there's one like right around the block. Um, let's get a high school going maybe right over here too. We can do that. Um, right in the middle between these two buildings and um, you know just try to even everything out so oh boy we still got dead people kind of coming in here um, a dead person is waiting for transport at the autumn residence see I knew it Rosewood Street guys I knew it see all these dead people are they're, they're popping up at the uh, up on uh, Rosewood you know Rosewood's really showing their true colors um seems like sewage treatment's not doing oh wait no it's just because god forbid there we go oh i could have easily Pfft, i'm an idiot who cares it's all good 
all good in the hood. Um, no more room, so we're going to start emptying into something else. Um, Alright. I mean, you got all the space here, you know. You got plenty of room. You can just you can just build big holes and uh, just toss bodies on top of each other, you know, like they do in horror movies, like in Cabin of the Woods and shit. And, um, oh, no more room. Okay. All right. See, yeah. Look at this. People would have no more room for anything. Um, so I'm sure this thing. To see stored. 2,500, see they only have room for like 499 more, so uh, I like the flow that's going on here, it's it's perfect. Lewis Street, they've expanded, I mean, um, not necessarily expanded, but who, I don't know, who cares. Still gotta empty these places because, yep, yep, I, I, I love this whole place everybody's still ungrateful you know the ungratefulness has spread into like some other virus you know like the uh the ungratefulness uh disease or um ungrateful disorder something like that um citizens are sick so we're gonna add maybe a little clinic here on the corner um could we do that we're we're gonna do that so Bam. So that way these people can have their own little medical clinic. Because, you know. I mean, hey, fuck. Fuck me, you know. Fuck having to walk to a medical clinic. Or having to wait a few seconds for somebody to show up. When you're sick or you're dying, you know, you want someone there now. Apparently. So, police. How are we on that? On crime rate? Crime rate is very, well... It's very low. Um, garbage. Uh, we are going to get an incinerator kind of out this way. Of course, it's going to create some pollution, possibly, but, you know, we're going to need it. We are really going to need it. And let's get this road up here to connect up so that way, you know. Oh, wow. I just kind of ruined that there. But, um, yep, we're going to get it right there so that way Walter Street is now expanded and um, I still love these little um, areas here where they're like curving and stuff like that and there's so many skyscrapers it's beautiful especially up here too like these guys I mean they get a nice view of um, the Sun they get a nice view of the sky and they also get a little bit of a nice view I want to say of that guy's roof right there but I mean who cares um, man look at these buildings it's it's it looks so beautiful out here especially um, I feel like we should dig into the mouth one of these days I'm not sure if we should but I want to add like a road at least one road kind of going through here so that way we can make use of this um this big open space here and oh boy oh wow look at that sun coming up and it's shining on the city it makes it nice and golden crossroads and traffic so let's see what the big oh boy oh boy so we're gonna have to definitely quickly add we're gonna have to upgrade these roads at least quickly make it like that um, let's add it just like so um, of course that only added trees that didn't really seem to do anything productive um, other than maybe okay so this is a little two-way road here so we're gonna get we're gonna make sure that we can get it all flowing right through here Trying to find a good spot to um, kind of get it to look a little bit nicer. Of course, it doesn't look super nice the way it is right now, but who cares? So we're gonna fix this with low dense re bleh, residential. 
low dense res, as we should be calling it, um, just to shorten it out. Um, all right, there we go. So traffic's flowing. Everybody's cutting each other off for God knows whatever reason. Um, buildings haven't changed even in 2033 now. Um, uh, yep, everybody's just doing their own thing. Um, looks like we're going to have to keep going through some of this area. Actually, you know what? This all looks good. Um, wow. Okay, and what's happening over here? Not enough goods to sell. Well, I mean, I, I, I can't do anything about that. I mean, I don't know what you want me to do. So, um... Okay, well, it looks like we're at that point now where we can stop. Oh, boy, what is going on? Sewage is backing up. Okay, so what we're going to do... Landfill usage. Oh, no, 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 that's sewage treatment. Sewage... Nah, we can't get a spot going on through here. Um, the sewage is backing up, so... Let's see if we can kind of expand it out this way. Um, I don't know if that's going to help. Oh, wow. Yep, it cleaned everything up. It's it's cleaning everything up, that is. And, of course, we're going to keep kind of getting them all going through here. Alrighty. So these guys, sewage treatment is not looking great, but I mean, what, what 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 can you do? What can you do? You know, it doesn't look, you know, the piping in here does not look that great. Of course, these guys need a little bit of water. Um, let's see how that handles over here. Um, up, oh, is it starting to fix it? Oh wow, yeah. Oh, never mind. Everybody's still kind of ungrateful about that. And they all just created a, walking, a scene from The Walking Dead. I swear. Look at all this. Just abandoned buildings and shit like that. It's all dirty on the side. Oh my god. Yep. Futuristic Walking Dead just happened. So um, we're going to fix this issue when we come back and... Um, course I just had to empty that facility and I think what we better do is um, we're gonna get maybe we're gonna definitely expand over into here maybe a little bit sooner than we thought so that way we can get um, all that radioactive material we can get um, we can get the sewage flowing in there to feed that radioactive material and what we can do after that what we can do is put some pipelines out there to let the uh, sewage out and we can also add some water treatment uh, facilities so that way you know we're basically eating our own shit and drinking our own piss or at least drinking the shit and the piss but um, who cares so um, yep citizens are sick well can't wait to see what that's like when we expand into Groom Lake so um, Goodbye from now. Well, goodbye for now for uh, to our beautiful city here. You know, it's been great for this episode. Um, if you guys love the video, you know, you guys liked it, please subscribe and uh, be sure to like the video and um, share it with your friends. Otherwise, you know, just um, be sure to do the complete opposite. You know. You guys remember what that was last episode? Make all these sexual jokes about my mother, you know, send the SWAT team to my house, you know, tell me that I should kill myself, call me a fat ass, do whatever, you know. If you're not going to subscribe or like or comment on the video, you know, come on. Do something, you know, because productivity is key. It's how you get shit done. Well, have a good one, guys.